Welcome back to Cactus Core Plays Virtue's Last Reward. My name is Kevondre, and last time uh, we started the series, um, we saw a brief flashback of our of our main character Sigma getting into his car at his college, and then getting gassed inside of his car, and uh, taken hostage by the same kind of looking uh, gas mask bloke from the first game. Um, and we woke up in an elevator with some girl named Phi. We solved an elevator where there was a rabbit who uh, spoke with a terrible Bane impersonation. Um, and yet, it's, it's still better than the real one. Trust me, that's really annoying in the real game. Um, yeah, so we, we escaped through the elevator, which was never in danger of falling because it's just sitting on a warehouse floor. Um, and now we rushed over to where all of these other people are who are also participating in the Nonary game. I'm the next edition! So, yeah, that's where we're at so far. So let's begin. <sighs> hey, hey there. Any of you guys know what the hell's going on here? Oh shit, I'm trying to remember who each voice was supposed to be. Excuse me. No, we don't. I haven't been out here much longer than you. They grabbed you too, huh? Grabbed by the ghoulies? Oh, yeah. I got in my car, I went to start the engine, and then there was this white smoke. I think we all shared the particular experience. This smoke seems to be some kind of generalist anesthetic. When I woke up, I was in one of these elevators. All five of you were in one elevator? No. Mr. Dio and I were in the same elevator, but... Wait, which one of you is Dio? That would be me. This little guy here is Quark. Nice to meet you, mister. Uh, right. Nice to meet you, too. So, what about the rest of you? Tenmyuji, Alice, and Luna all woke up in different elevators. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, you've got it right. So, you'd be Tenmyuji then, sir? Yep. And Alice is... Me. She's Luna. No, she's Luna. I, it's going to take me a bit to get these voices straight. It's going to be hard with all of these different characters, too. Uh, but yeah, uh, she she's not all lies. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello. It's very nice to meet you. Um, hey. Nice to meet you, too. What's she so nervous about? And you, uh... Right, uh, I'm Sigma, and this bundle of laughs is fine. Good to meet you all, I guess. Say that again. And this malnourished harpy is fine. Better? Bastard. Ellipsis. Um, are you two... <laughs> Not likely. That elevator was the first time we'd seen each other, I think. You think? Uh, never mind, Charlie. Uh, forget I said anything. We met just now in that elevator. That's the truth. Now, if you're expecting me to make a lot of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure references because there's a man named Dio in this, well, you're out of luck because I haven't really watched that because I watched the first two episodes and hated it. And uh, the fandom just drives me nuts. So, you know, you're not expecting much. I think that from what I was told, I'm supposed to just say, Dio! And then point, and then that's all I really need. Something, something, you're approaching me, and purple Japanese text appears on the screen. That's what I understand. Um, also, the original plan for this game, uh, back when, when Bobby was still planning to play it with me, was that Dio, uh, his voice for Dio was going to be like a, um, a Cajun voice. And I was really kind of looking forward to that, because it would have fit the character so nicely. Um, but... You're going to have to settle for the judge's voice. I, I I would feel bad not having him in here anyway, so I'm okay with that. You're just going to have to get used to Dio liking uncircumcised pizzas. You know, that's just the way it is. All right? All right. Can I see your bracelet there? And apparently, uh, Edgeworth was, was kidnapped, which is why he's not in uh, Justice for All. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. <sighs> And yours? Fi, right? Let me have a look. 
<laughs> I thought so. What? Quark, you and Dio show them your bracelets. They both say pair and have a number three, just like Phi and I. No way, what color's different? Ours are red. And yours are blue. Sharp eye there! Mr. Wright? What about yours, uh, sir? Ten Miyuji, right? <laughs> Show him yours too, ladies. Oh. Red, blue, and green? They're different. You've all got threes, but your bracelets say solo. Solo round. Right. You figure it out then? Figure what out? Sigma and I are the red pair. Dio and Quark are the blue pair. Each pair got put in the same elevator. But Tenmyuji, Alice, and Luna were all solos, so... So they got put in their own separate elevators. Hmm. Okay, that's great and all, but... What do pair and solo mean? Don't got the foggiest idea. No, he's not in here. He's out on his cat tree. Well, that's helpful. I don't know why we're split up like this either. Does anybody know what the three means? Sorry, I'm gonna have to work on that quirk voice. I have no idea. Maybe it has something to do with the game. Game? Oh, yeah. Yes, 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 and I'm calling it the Notary Game! Ambidex Edition! You guys saw him too, right? That rabbit thing? The... in the elevator. He said something about the elevator falling. The others explained that after they'd escaped from their own elevators, they'd gone around the warehousey room that we were in and tested the doors. Unfortunately, it turned out that they were all shut tight and impossible to open. They had been about to try and open this door, the one with the nine on it, when Phi and I appeared. So, any chance this one will open? You think we'd have done it last if there was? There's some sort of, I don't know, machine off to the left here, but... Well, give it a shot, why don't you? Looks like the force probably isn't going to work either. Oh, looks like, yeah, it looks like the force isn't going to work either. I know it's within all things, and you need you can reach out and touch fate or something. Uh, if you're if you're my boy Alex Griffin, which is Garrison's favorite character from Superpowers. Damn. Well, I didn't really think that it'd work anyway. I don't think you'd be able to force that door with anything short of a tank. All right, well, how about those three doors over there? I told you already. Each one's got a digital lock on it. We can't pick the lock and can't break down the door. Sure about that? Why would I lie? Hmm. Okay, are there any other ways out? Yet, unfortunately. Not that we failed anyway. Great. Well, there is one thing I'm a little curious about. And that is? I was the first to escape. That means I know who was in which elevator. I watched all of you come out, after all. And? Well, I was in the one-third from the right. Tenmyuji was the second out. Your elevator was second from the left, I think? Good memory. Yeah, that's where I was. Third was Luna. You climbed out of the rightmost elevator, didn't you? Da. That's the one. Dio and Quark were next. You came out of the elevator next to Luna's. Right? Yeah. We did. And finally, the two of you were trapped in... The third elevator from the left. Wait, then. Yes. No one has come out of the leftmost elevator. Are you... are you saying there's still someone in there? I can't say for certain, but it does seem strange. Maybe we should go take a look? Yeah, good idea. Ok. 
come and knock on our door. Hey! Anybody in there? If you can hear me, just, I don't know, make some noise! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, look at this! Ambidex. Room? Is that some kind of card reader? Maybe it unlocks it or something. There's one next to each door. What do you think Ambidex room is supposed to mean? Well, it says in all six of the elevators. Maybe it has something to do with the game that Zero was talking about? Oh, the Nonary game. Ambidex edition? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think we really need to worry about that right now, though. We should be figuring out what's inside this thing. And we got a key card? Nah! I got nothing, not even dirt! So they've taken everything we were carrying? Wonderful. The rest of us dug through our pockets as well, but it was pretty obvious the deal was right. My own were completely empty. There wasn't even any lint in my creases. I thought I said carcass. Oh, man, that's not right. Maybe there's no one in there. No! There is. There's gotta be. And what makes you so sure? Huh? Uh, well... Um... Arrgh! What's that? Look! It's opening! There was someone in there! Yay! Sometimes you get yote. And I'm... What the... Who the hell? Clover! Clover? Yes, that's right. Clover is in this game. Are you okay? Clover! Wake up! Ah, cool. What's going on here? Do these two know each other? What did you do to her? Excuse me. Nothing. She was like that when I woke up. I really wouldn't worry, though. She should be alright. Her breathing is steady. I believe she's only sleeping. Then she hasn't woken up since the kidnapped her. Uh, kidnapped? Begging your pardon, but I'm afraid they don't understand what you mean. Where are we? And who are you? Whoa, hold on. How about you tell us who you are first? You leap out of that box, dressed like some kind of robot, carrying an unconscious girl, and we've only got your word that you didn't make her that way. I think you owe us an explanation, pal. I... Hmm. Who am I? What? What? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. I have no idea where I am, who I am, or even what day it is. If you happen to know any of those things, I would very much appreciate it if you shared that information. Not knowing one's identity is vexing. Oh yeah, very original. The, the amnesiac routine, please. Yeah, I know, Uchikoshi. Very original. Where have we seen the amnesiac thing before? How are we supposed to take you seriously when you're wearing this... this... this robot suit? We can't even see your face! How are you gonna tell us someone forced you into that thing? I assume so? It seems the most reasonable explanation. When I woke up, I was wearing this armor, I suppose you could call it. You look pretty calm for a man who doesn't know who he is. Look! That's an odd choice of words. I'm wearing a mask. How do you... Why would you know how I look? Uh, you know what I meant, you smartass. Uh... Oh! She's waking up! Clover, are you okay? Come on, talk to me. Who? Tor. I is. Where are, are we? I'm not gonna do the Kumatora voice very well. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be overt. Once Clover had woken up, Alice explained everything we knew so far. She listened silently until Alice mentioned Zero in the Nonary game, and then her eyes went wide. What? No. No, that can't... 
The blood drained from her face, and she wrapped her arms tightly around herself. What did she know? As Alice continued to console Clover, the rest of us turned to questioning the mysterious man in the mask. It's Leo DiCaprio under there. I, I bet he's got a twin as well. When did you lose your memory? When? That's a difficult question. I suppose when I was born? I don't remember anything in my life, assuming I had one. We asked him everything we could think of. Birth date, address, occupation, family, childhood, but all he did was shake his head. I think he has generalized amnesia. It's a type of memory loss. People affected by it retain knowledge like language, social common sense, memorized faces, abilities they've learned. But anything that has to do with um, themselves is just lost. It's a very serious condition. Most research suggests that it's mainly psychological, not physiological, and in very rare instances it has been shown to result from a severe head trauma. Do you have any idea what might have caused it? Hmm. See, when I hum into the cup, it doesn't quite work. Maybe I had a really bad breakup? <laughs> He was making a laughing sort of noise, but his expression didn't change. With the mask on, there was no way we could tell if he was smiling or not, but his voice sure didn't make it sound like he was. Bullshit! This guy's obviously full of it. Don't tell me you're actually buying this. Little more Roy than Thomas there. Dio's outburst was greeted with an awkward silence. It wasn't that we trusted the robot man, per se. Only that it seemed clear he was in the same boat we were. There was a bracelet on his wrist, too. Post inspection revealed that his armor fit around the bracelet. In other words, the bracelet was attached to his arm like ours, and not simply part of his suit. And just like ours, his had a three on it. It said pair below the three, and all the text was bright green. Clover's bracelet was exactly the same. How long had we been there? I still hadn't entirely shaken the last traces of sleep out of my head. My brain felt foggy and cluttered. He's still not in here, man. Had I been asleep for hours? Days? There was no way to know. They'd taken my favorite watch when they grabbed me and given me the bracelet instead. And unless it happened to be 3 o'clock right now, it wasn't going to be very useful for telling time. With no windows in the warehouse, it was impossible to even guess what time of day or night it was. Time could have stopped. We wouldn't have even had the first idea. Many ellipses. Take a drink of uh, bevy here. Damn it. No dice. This thing won't open. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah, well, I just thought. There's a box here. Maybe it's some sort of locking thing, like the ones next to the elevators? I don't think it's a card reader, though. Huh. Hey, what do you think that is? What? That graffiti over there. See, on the wall? Two milkmen go gummy? Oh, yes, that. I was wondering what that was. Two milkmen go comedy. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, maybe this does not translate well from English into sanity. Maybe it's saying that a pair of milkmen decided to become comedians. Still just kind of sounds like nonsense, though. I think it's somebody's way of saying hello. Uh, what? You heard me. Yeah, I did. I just... What the hell was that supposed to mean? It's an anagram. An anagram? Ah, because she's Anna from Fire Emblem. Nice. Yeah, they tried to do a lot of names before they worked it down to tell it. Come on, seriously? <laughs> I like that. You've never heard of an anagram? It's a kind of um, wordplay where you move the letters around to create something else, duh? Exactly. Watch. With the tip of her boot, Fi spelled out two sentences in the dust on the floor. Two milkmen go comedy. Welcome to my kingdom. Oh, okay. If you switch it around. Yeah, that makes sense. Huh. <sighs> exactly. 
Seems like somebody was expecting us, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but... Where are they? Pretty rude to invite somebody over and not even offer them a drink. True. I could go for a beer. But you're assuming that Zero isn't one of us. Whoa! This is a familiar conversation. What? What? Oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna hit the cup with my controller. <laughs> huh? Look! Over there! Shame on you, Fino! You can't say what I'm about to say before I say it! Zero. I've got a plan, you know. I can't just tell you everything at once. Although things are starting to get exciting. <laughs> well, you little bastard. Too scared to come out and face me like a man? Are you an idiot? I'm a rabbit. You really think a talking rabbit is a real thing? Of course I don't. You're some kind of CG rabbit or something, probably. That's not what I meant, though. Oh, you meant you want to see the person who's controlling me. I guess God touched this one a little too hard. What? Aren't you listening to Fido? She's clever, you know. Wait, then you're saying Zero is one of us? Well, yes, I guess. That's the only way to put it. Are you really sure? You're responding to our questions and stuff right now. That means you're not just, like, a video somebody made. Wouldn't that mean that Zero would have to be controlling you and sending you answers right now? Because it doesn't look like anyone's doing that. Well, of course they aren't. I'm an AI. Control your city. What? I'm an artificial intelligence powered by a quantum computer. Zero is the one who built me, of course. So I guess that makes one of you my pet. Now, are you a mommy or a daddy? <laughs> that would be telling. <laughs> Zero the third is so annoying. Now, with that said, I guess I would probably tell you that I'm not the only one who brought you here. I mean, obviously. I don't even have a body. I guess I'm just doing the uh, Morgan Faye voice for him in the cup rather than Bane because for some reason I'm not Baning it's the Bane of my existence ha 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 cha 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 I'm just the facilitator for this facility I just do what I'm told to do and what do you facilitate? didn't I say? the game of course <laughs> oh the nonary game Ambidex edition Correct. It's my job to make sure it runs smoothly. No. It's supposed to be over. There she goes again. She knows something. She looks very excited about it, though. So, what is the Nonary game? Nonary refers to base 9 numeral system, but can also mean something that is, in some way, related to the number 9? Number 9? Number 9? Nona can be used as a prefix as well, where it means essentially the same thing. Therefore, it stands to reason that the Nonary game is a game that deals with the number 9 in some way. Exactly! 9 is a very, very important number in this game. After all, 9 is your goal. Goal? Yes, goal! You see that door in front of you? That's your door. If you could open the door with a nine in it, you can escape. The, what do we have to do to open it? Yes, yes, yes. Let me explain. Look at your left wrists. You see the bracelet across you. Now, tell me, Fido, what number is on yours? Uh, three. What about the rest of you? They're all the same. We've all got threes. Exactly! I'm going to call those numbers bracelet points, 
If you're feeling lazy, you can just call them BP. Only the people who can get that number to nine or more will be able to open the door with the nine on it and escape. You see the box on the wall? That's how you'll get out. Anyone with greater gain or equal to nine BP can open the lever and the door will open. Woo! There are three rules you cannot forget. One, the number nine door will only stay open for nine seconds. When your time is up, it'll close automatically, so be careful. Two, the number nine door only opens once. Once that happens, it's all over. It'll close for good after nine seconds, so if you're not careful, you could get stuck. Three, now maybe some of you are thinking. You're thinking, oh hey, if my BP is too low, then I'll just have someone with enough BP open the door, and I'll just slip through while it's open. Well, that's not gonna happen. Love that stupid pun. If you think you can be sneaky, well... Well, what? Oh, I, um, really shouldn't say that yet. All you need to know is that anybody who tries to sneak out will hit with a big penalty. And what the hell does that mean? Down in front! I'll tell you later! Um... Yes? Why did you start making rabbit puns? Oh, uh, well, um... Cause I felt like it... I thought it would make me sound cute. Never mind that. You still haven't told us what we need to know most. How do we get BP? Oh, that's easy. Just spill oil in the Gulf of Mexico. And use the other bedroom. If you like abbreviations, you can always call it the AB room instead. You mean those, uh... Elevators? Gold Star! So how do we go about using them? How else do you use a room? You go in! You mean through those hatches? No. I had a hurt you might try that, so I closed those up tight while you were talking. So don't be hatching any hatch plans, you understand? I live in the master computer. That means all the electronic doors in this whole war are under my control. How do we get in then? We tried the doors on the front, they're all locked. There's a card within next to each one, isn't there? All you've got to do is slide a card through, and there you go. Where do we find those key cards? Well, we don't got them, and there weren't any in the warehouse. Oh, well, no. Of course there wouldn't be any there. Then, where are they? I think you'll find that what you're looking for is behind those chromatic doors. Chromatic doors? Right here. See the three pretty girls just to your right? Huh? Hold on. I thought those doors were locked. Quick! What? You see those buttons on the sides of your watch? Can you press them at the same time? Why? To make little boys ask questions, just press them, please. In fact, why doesn't everybody press their buttons as well? Hey, what's this number? The two digits on the left show hours, and the two on the right show minutes. Does that mean it's 12.10 in the morning? No. Oh, the numbers are going down. It's gone from 10 minutes to 9. So, that would mean that we would be counting down to something, duh? Correct. I don't even need to explain the rest, do I? I'm guessing this is the time until the chromatic doors unlock. Ding, 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 ding! Very impressive, tell me, oldie. <laughs> Alright, let us review what we've learned. In nine minutes, the chromatic doors will open automatically. However, just like the number nine, number nine door, <laughs> it won't stay open forever. I'm so sorry, you guys. You have five minutes. Once your time is up, the doors will close no matter what, so I hope you've gone through by then. That's just the primary door. What? 
Each star in the world has a twin, isn't that nice? The chromatic doors aren't any different. There's one door on this side, one door on the other side. Unfortunately, the second door of chromatic door on the other side is locked. Couldn't make it easy for us, could you? Of course you'll all have to split up. Split up? Yep. Cleaver, can you tell me what the three primary colors are? Why are you asking me? Because you're the only person who hasn't talked to me. I try to communicate with as many people as I can. Zero's a good teacher. It helps me improve, you see. I'm trying to get into the rabbit of doing it all the time. Now, answer my questions. Do you know what the three primary colors are? Well... You, you mean red, green, and blue? Yeah, that's not this. You're supposed to be able to make any color by mixing them, right? So which colors would you mix to get magenta? Red and blue. How about yellow? Green and red? What if you wanted cyan? Blue and green. That's right. And it's not primary colors at all, man. Like, they're doing the CMYK thing. I don't know why. Very strange. I mean, RGB. When, you, when you're talking in terms of light, that is kind of how it works. But it, it's just like how with light, uh, white is all colors combined. And black is the absence of color. Whereas in reality when you're using like colored pencils or whatever black is all colors together and white is nothing and thus that's why your primary colors are different the light scale is different from the realistic scale because usually when we talk about ryb that's that's in terms of like something like with colored pencils or crayons but rgb is generally how it works in a computer just in case you're confused because it's kind of confusing and stupid now take another look at the nice bracelets you're all wearing. Notice how they come in three vibrant colors? Yeah, yeah. We get it already. The red and blue bracelets can open the secondary magenta door together. The green and red can open the yellow one. And blue and green can open the cyan door. Did I miss anything? Wonderful. I think you rabbit. There is one other little thing there. You're talking about what happens if you've got two of the same color, right? Yep. What do you think happens? How the hell should I know? If you want to open a door but all you've got is one color, then you can use that one to open a door with the complementary color to the one you've got. Hmm. I see. So if you've got red and red, then you can open the cyan door. Blue and blue can open the yellow door. And green and green can open the magenta door. Right again! Looks like your brain hasn't rotted, yet, uh, rotted away yet, Ten me oldie. Just what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means exactly what it says. I was trying to compliment you, you know. Mm. Oh well, let's continue, shall we? There are two types of bracelets, pairs and solos. That means there's two types of players, two pairs and solos. In this game, the two members of a pair are considered to be a single entity, which means they share the same destiny. Isn't that a good deal? I mean, you get two for the price of one. Unfortunately, it also means they can't split up. Oh. Both members of a pair have to go through the same chromatic door. Solos don't have any restrictions like that, though. I mean, why would they? They're forever alone. But that means they can go wherever they want. Yay! Now let's take another look at all of y'all's bracelets. <laughs> let's start with you, Siggy. What color is your bracelet? Red. Are you a pair or solo? I'm a pair. Five hours next. Tell us about your bracelet. It's just like Sigma's red and a pair. <laughs> just spoke with Sigma's voice. Oh, okay. Going back and forth and back and forth. It's just like Sigma's. Red and a pair. What about you, Alas? It's red and I'm a solo. Blue, quick. Blue, pair. Yeah, mine's the same. Mooney, Cleaver, Ted Mealy, all at once. I'm a blue solo. 
Ah, my green pair. Green solo. And finally, um, who are you? I'm, uh, let's see. I suppose you can call me K? I knew it. You were just lying about that amnesia crap. I'm not lying. This was just a, uh, a flash of insight, I suppose. I saw the letter K. So? What does K have to do with anything? I wish I knew. Sadly, I have no idea. Does it mean anything to you? Asshole. <laughs> Come on now, boys. You can fight later. Now, uh, K? Can I call you that? Yes. I'm guessing your bracelet is the same as Clover's. That's right. It says pear, and the text is green. Okay! I'm glad we all got the bracelet business out of the way. Now, let us return to the subject of hand. How do you open the second door door? So, Sergey, what would you do to get through the mountain door? Well, Thai and I can't split up since we're part of the same pair. If we're red, I guess we have to pair up with Luna, right? Since she's a blue solo. Or you could work with Mr. Dio and me. We're blue, too. Whoops! I'm sorry, Sticks. I forgot to tell you. You have exactly three people in your group to open the secondary door. That means you can't have two people or four people or uh, anything other than three, really. Then our only choice is to pair up with Luna. Pretty much. And I guess I should probably tell you that the secondary door won't open unless the primary door closes. It's made that way to keep out cheaters. We didn't want a fourth or fifth person just running in at the last minute like, Oh, wait for me! When the right people open the door. But if the primary door closes first, we then that's impossible. You see, it all makes sense. Anyway, might have run ahead too long in my explanation, but now it's all done. Any questions? I took a moment to go over everything we'd learned so far. What do I have to do to escape? Open the number 9 door. How do I open the number 9 door? I have to get 9 or more bracelet points, also known as BP. How do I get more BP? I don't have the whole answer to that one yet, but it looks like I have to head into the Ambidex room to get it. How do I get into the Ambidex room? I'll need a keycard for that. Where is the keycard? Zero said it's on the other side of the chromatic door. What do I open? What do I do to open the primary CD? Nothing actually. Apparently, it just opens of its own, on its own, after a certain amount of time. Pressing the buttons on both sides of the bracelet simultaneously shows how much time is remaining. How do I get through the secondary door? For starters, there's a limit on how many people can go in. Specifically, three people. If combining the colors on the bracelets of those three people gives you the same color as the door, then the door will open. If everyone has the same color, then you can open doors with that color's complementary color. Matching. Red plus blue equals magenta, green plus red equals yellow, blue plus green equals cyan. Complementary. Red plus red equals cyan, blue plus blue equals yellow, green plus blue... Fuck me. Green plus green equals magenta. Good? Excellent! It looks like none of you have any questions. Yay! Huh? No, wait. We have questions. Of course we have questions. What's the point of this game? Why did you take us? Where are we? And and who the hell is the real Zero? It's too late to hold yours. Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Oh, so sorry guys, but it looks like your time is up. You better hope to it and get those secondary doors open. Fuck that! We aren't gonna open shit. You can take your lamery game and shove it up your ass. If you think we're just gonna swallow your psychotic crap and play along, you got another thing coming, you smart ass little rodent. I'm a rabbit. Shut up. Well, shoot. I thought you might say that. Unfortunately, you have no choice but to follow the rules. Why is that? When the time comes, those three doors will automatically close. If anyone is left outside after they close, they'll... They'll what? They'll be penalized. 
keep saying that. What the hell is this penalty anyway? Oh. Yes. Rude. Yeah, bracelets contain two drugs. The first is an anesthetic called Simple Beta. The other is a muscle relaxant called Tubo Curie. The bracelet also has a bunch of needles on the inside. If you break the rules, those needles will hop out and inject you. First is the soap rule which puts you to sleep. Nine minutes later, the tube of curamine is injected, numbing your respiratory muscles. I guess you could say it'll really take your breath away. <laughs> you should know that the soap rule is only there out of kindness of Zero's heart. I don't mean the real Zero, not me. Zero just doesn't want to see anybody suffer. Isn't that just so compassionate? If I had a heart, it'd be melting right now. Anyway, all it means is that you'll die pretty painlessly, so hey, there's nothing to worry about, really. Of course, none of that will happen if you just follow the rules. Three minutes remain until the chromatic doors close. Well then, looks like it's time for me to hop on out of here. Good luck, guys. See y'all later! Have a nice trap! Well, shit. So there was poison in the bracelet. Seems a little hard to believe, but it wasn't like I had anything else other than a computer-generated rabbit say either way. What were we gonna do? There was a lot to think about, but we didn't have very much time. What are we waiting for? We need to go! We need to get through those other doors! But how do we figure out which door to go through? You still don't get it? Fine, just pay attention, we don't have much time. Zero's explanation was pretty confusing, so let me put it in small words for you. It wasn't really. We've explained it like three times now. There are only three possible options. Option A. Sigma and I pair up with Luna. Our red and her blue can go through the magenta door. That would mean Clover and Kay would go with Alice. The green goes with her red to make yellow. That just leaves Dio and Quark as the blue pair, and Tenmyoji as the green solo. The only door they can open is the Cyan one. Got it? Option B. Sigma and I go with Tenmyoji so we can use the red and green to make yellow on that door. That means Clover and Kay peer up pair up with Luna to open the Cyan door. This leaves Dio and Quark with Alice, and together they can open up the Magenta door. And finally, option C would be whether we, where we pair up like colors to open complementary colored doors. That means Sigma, Alice, and I go through the Cyan door. Clover, K, and Tenmyoji go through the Magenta door, and Dio, Quark, and Luna go through the Yellow door. Problem is... Which do we choose? Please, Sigma, choose something. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. Go ahead and save. Yes, save your game. I agree. Wow. And next time, we will uh, choose which door to go through. Luna, Ten Miyoji, or Alice. So this should be fun. We'll probably leave it up to the robot to pick. Um, that'll be fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it uh, for this time. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. My, my voices are kind of a little all over the place, but I think I'm gonna get used to it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do my shout out. I'm gonna do a shout out to one of my favorite games ever. Completely unrelated. Um, this was these, these next two shout outs were originally gonna be for Phoenix Wright because we'd already gotten through almost everything in that game. Um, so we were just doing kind of random shoutouts to everything, but I still wanted to do shoutouts to these. So today's shoutout is going to go to Fire Emblem Awakening, um, which was the first Fire Emblem game on the 3DS, and it was my first Fire Emblem game I ever played, and it made me fall the fuck in love with the series. Um, it's it's not a perfect game because Three Houses uh, shows how much more improvement there could be to the formula, um, and going back to Awakening after playing Three Houses is a little difficult because there's a lot less quality of life stuff. All the same, um, very much enjoy Awakening, and if you haven't played any Fire Emblem games, I recommend starting with Awakening. It's a great entry point into the series, um, and I've, I've put 
300 something hours into that game and I love it. I've gotten everybody that I can to, to play it because it's amazing. So yeah, shout out to Fire Emblem Awakening. Uh, next time, we will choose which door to go through and we will go through it. So see you guys later. Bye.